Good morning, my dear students. I am Ratna Prabha, retired Chief Secretary, Government of Karnataka. I belong to 1981 batch. Now I am posted as uh, Chairman of Skill Development Authority since last one year. As you know, we were affected by COVID and we lost about 9 to 10 months of active work. However, uh, we tried to do work online through Zoom and other ways and we tried to do a lot of new initiatives. I am happy to inform you that we want to do a lot of uh, initiatives for youth and we need, we need a feedback from the youth what exactly they are looking at the government in terms of their progress. We are examining how to create employment to the youth and also to give them employability status. That is, you know, creating an employment is something and also upskilling the skill already existing with the youth and create more opportunities for employability. We are trying to work with various NGOs and private partners to involve the young girls and boys in getting jobs or getting into apprenticeship or put them into top multinationals which offer jobs. As you know, Karnataka is a state which has a lot of multinational companies. We have a lot of industrial areas, industrial estates. The, in the, they are looking for good, skilled manpower. And we also have uh, youth who are looking for jobs. So we want to be the bridge to link the industries or the companies or whoever wants to employ, that is the employers with the employees. And that is, as you know, the new education policy also talks of introducing vocational training and skilling in schools. That is very interesting and that's the right approach because as you know, as children, our hands are very nimble, we are tender and children can pick up whatever has uh, art or whatever kind of, kind of skill or a craft which is taught to them. So we have recommended or we are recommending to the government to introduce skilling in the high school level itself. You will be surprised to know there is something called junior technical schools in Karnataka which was in existence from the pre-British days. I visited one in Hubli and found that the girls and boys are so good. They are doing you know uh, computer training, they are into carpentry, they are into electronics, they are into welding along with studying for their regular uh, tenth class. And these girls and boys who pass out uh, from these junior technical schools are not only doing well in polytechnic, ITI or in engineering colleges because they already have the technical knowledge. And they, once they finish the education, they have been uh, appointed by the top companies and they are doing, uh, they are scoring also very well. So based on this uh, experience, uh, we have recommended to government of Karnataka that skilling should be introduced in schools. That is one thing. Secondly, why should a child only do engineering or medicine or become a lawyer or a teacher? The child can also be an entrepreneur. And if the child has to be an entrepreneur, the skilling and vocational training has to begin from school. And the child will have a lot of variety to choose from subjects rather than being only, you know, forced to do maths, physics, chemistry or something which the child doesn't like. So we as a skill development authority, our responsibility is to give suggestions, ideas, innovative thoughts to the government. And we are doing our best to give a wide range of activities and a big platter of different uh, subjects and uh, technology and innovative ideas to the government so that the child who is in school or in college feels more comfortable in the with the education system rather than what is now existing. So wish you all the best. Please send us all your suggestions which would make you better human beings in society. Please. And that is what is the aim of KSD. So please support us. We have a website ksd.org Give in your suggestions or write to us how we can work closely with the youth. Thank you and wish you all the best.